Hello! Today I'd like to show you one of the ways that I've been using up some of my 5 inch squares. I have quite a big collection of 5 inch squares and I've got quite a lot that are in a variety of different colours. So I came up with this idea and I have done a pattern for 5 inch squares which is available on my site gourmetquarter.com and I've just called it Corners Using 5 inch squares. It's not strictly speaking another block that I'm aware of, it's very like another block but it's just putting corners on 5 inch squares. So today I'm going to show you how I've done that. So I've got uh, 5 inch squares in a variety of colours and I've got some other 5 inch squares also in a variety of different colours um, and I'm going to cut uh, 4 of these that I've got sitting in a little stack here in half and half again to give me 4 2.5 inch squares from each of those 5 inch squares. So to make each block when you're calculating your, the number of squares and things you need to make one block which we'll see shortly you need to have two five inch squares or the equivalent of but we'll, we'll be rotating the colors around so first of all I've got a little stack of four five inch squares here and I've lined them up on my board and I'm going to cut those in half at two and a half inches and I'm going to turn them around reposition them carefully and then cut again into two and a half inches so that I've got four squares two and a half inches from each five inch square and then I'm going to position one of the squares on the corner now I'm going to sew diagonally across now you could draw a line but uh, sometimes that's more than I want to do so I just do a little finger press fold in there and I'm going to sew along that fold so I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew directly on that fold line right the way across now you could chain piece these but I'm just going to show you one block at the moment so I'll take a different colour square and I'll position that on the next corner. So they look like they're meeting but ultimately there will be a gap between the two. And the same thing I'm going to position that, I'm going to press my little fold. As I said you could draw that line but I haven't got my pencil here today. And I'm going to sew right the way across. And continuing on round exactly the same thing and the last corner So that I've now completely covered up my original 5 inch square. And uh, these bits are, are flapping here. So what we're going to do now is trim those corners. So we're going to trim a quarter of an inch on the outside of each seam line. So my ruler has actually got a quarter of an inch line marked on it. So I'm going to line the quarter of an inch up on the sewing line and just trim a quarter of an inch away. And turn that round. So all the way round, cut off all four corners. And I'm going to bring the iron in now and I'm going to press those four corners out. So laying it with the, with the main square down, I'm just going to hold that corner up and just press into that corner and press that seam down. So I'm pressing from the right side of the fabric. And there I have my corners block. 
Now when you've made several of these, you can of course be chain piecing, there's you know, ways of getting through the job quicker than I have just shown you probably if you wanted to do it quicker. Um, but you get these nice different colours um, on the corners which will end up looking really nice when they meet with another one. So this block currently still measures 5 inches like your original square, um, but when you sew it in it's going to measure four and a half inches and even though these points look like they're meeting here by the time you've sewn that in you're going to have a little flat spot of the main square colour showing. So I have actually made a quilt um, already using this method so I'll just show you how that looks. So you can see here that uh, this is the block this now measures four and a half inches when it's sewn in um, and there's these little flat spots in between where the corners don't quite meet because of the way you've sewn it but I think that's a really nice way of using up the five inch squares and um, it's really nice cheerful and colourful and you can use all sorts of different fabrics and colours in the one quilt. Thank you.